What's up, guys? It's Ryan with AOMC and the MX Guru channel. I'm back. Now, of course, this would happen. Um, those spy photos of the new KTM motocross bikes, uh, those photos were released back in the summer. And a couple months went by, and there were no more photos, no, no more news. So, of course, I went ahead and made a video on it. Uh, that video dropped last week. Um, you can see it down in the description. It's 2023 KTM motocross rumors. Um, since then, we hadn't heard a lot since before that video. And then, of course, as soon as I drop it, uh, another leak comes out this week. Um, as you guys probably know, Aaron Plessinger officially signed with KTM. Uh, they dropped his intro video yesterday, day before. Um, well, a photo has already leaked, and it appears that Mr. Plessinger also got to sit on or ride the 2022 factory edition KTM as well. And it pretty much confirms that the plastics we saw in the leaks back in the summer, that, that is going to be the body they are going to use for 2022 factory editions and therefore the 2023 model. So I'm going to put a picture of that right here. Now, uh, I don't know, guys. Like, I think this is one of those model years that people are going to come out at the very beginning and say they don't like it. But then it's probably going to really grow on you. Now, here's a couple things I noticed about this picture. One, the shrouds seem to go really far forward. I don't know if they're trying to scoop uh, air into the radiators or what, but... I don't remember shrouds sticking out like that far past the front forks. Um, so that's just something to think. I think the bike looks good. The graphics look good. I love the blues and stuff. Uh, what's that on the front of the seat right there at the front? It's like an indention, and that could be all it is, but uh, I don't know. That grabbed my eye. Uh, it also grabbed my eye that the triple clamps don't seem to be... Um, orange or anything like that they're just like a they look really just looks like a cast triple clamp um so interesting but i just wanted to put this video out real quick and update you guys that it, it does appear um to be confirmed that those original plastics in that first video are what they're going to use for 2023 uh, generation and uh this picture right here appears to be um what the 2022 SXF 450 factory edition is going to look like. So just wanted to give you guys that update. You know I'm going to keep you guys on top of all the news on all the KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas, Suzuki, Yamaha, Honda, Kawasaki, all those models. I'm going to keep you guys updated right here. So hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and let me know. I honestly have no idea um, disclaimer, I have no idea where this picture originated from. It's been, it's been uh, floating around the internet the last couple of days. Um, so if, if you have any more information on what we can expect with the 2022 factory editions, leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.